know, people have lived here since time immemorial, 15,000 plus years of connection to this place. My name's Nicholas Galanin, Yehietzin. We are in my hometown, uh, Sitka, Alaska. The chosen narrative of Palm Springs is one of Hollywood in a sense. California has a major history, like much of America, and settler uh, colonialism of removing indigenous communities literally from land and place. If you look at the street names, it was a playground for Hollywood. The history of Hollywood, the sign itself, is highly problematic, which historically was um, real estate land advertisement for white-only communities. There's still communities deeply impacted by this. It's a sentinel piece, and I think it really addresses one of the fundamentals about a show like this, which is in some ways taking the legacy of land art and seeing what it means today. The sign says Indian land. It's presenting a truth that's not chosen to yeah. be told. Indigenous communities, the original stewards to this place for 10,000 years, have less than 3% of land title. The most important aspect of this work isn't actually the sign. The most important part of this work is the land that it's on and the history of who engages with that. Choosing these histories and narratives that you decide you will never forget while con continually actively ignoring the histories here. This work is trying to invite everyone to understand these histories and to participate.